Good morning, it's Tess from Accomplished Quilting. Today I want to show you a masking technique that works easily for me in areas that I don't want to have quilting. Today I'll show you this pocket. And this pocket area, I don't want to stitch over so that when my quilt is done, my pocket is still open. So we will utilize the masking tool as well as the draw tool. And you can see on my screen, the crosshairs, that's where my sew head is sitting right now. Uh, will you click on your draw tool and scroll down to create segment type. You'll select line, close when done, and begin. Now you'll see my cursor has a little blue dot. And where my sew head is sitting happens to be the exact point where I want to start my masking. So I'm going to click right at that intersection. Then I'm gonna to go to my sew head and I'm gonna move it to the next point, which is right here. Then I go back to my screen and I click right on that point. And you'll make a point all the way around whatever you want to mask. So I'm coming down to the bottom of this corner pocket right here. Then I'm gonna go back to my screen and click at the intersection. So I'll continue doing that until my shape is completed. And I don't need to make any other points, so to close my mask, I'm going to right click and lay my blue dot right over the top of the first dot. Now you see the uh, light green shape has appeared here. Now I need to click on this line. Now it turned black. That's going to be my mask shape. Click on the masking tool, which is the heart in the pink square. Click build and the mask will turn purple. Click on the mask and it will turn pink. Sometimes the first time you click, it has to be right on the line or right on a stitching line. You might have to click around a few times, so don't, don't be worried. Then click outside your shape and your light green lines will turn dark green. And then you can click accept and your mask area is made. So if you click off of it, you can see, back to your transform tool, you can see there that you're not gonna stitch anything in that masked area. Then you just hit go and let your edge to edge run out for the row. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something great.